Hello there, my fellow YouTubers. This is Simply Tutorials, where the tutorials are, you guessed it, simple. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract a Gary's Mod add-on so you can access the contents on the inside of the GMA file. Stay tuned. Okay, now, have you ever downloaded an add-on from the Source, I mean not Source, but the Steam Workshop for Gary's Mod or any Valve game or any Source game and you just wanted to access it like you could back earlier before GMod 12 I think it was, but now it's a GMA file. Well, I'm going to show you how to extract it and, you know, use it within uh, Source Filmmaker for the sake of this tutorial will be Source Filmmaker. So let's go ahead and find our Gary's Mod game. Right there, okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it. Go to properties. Go to local files. Browse local files. Now we can exit this. And then we got our Gary's Mod location. You know, it's where it's installed at. Now we're going to go to Gary's Mod right there, the folder. And then we're going to go to uh, add-ons. And there's a bunch of add-ons in here. So I'm going to go with a map file. So let's find GM. And we'll go with GM Big City right here. This is a pretty good one. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're also going to open up our file, Gary's Mod files again. So I don't, properties, local, I don't know why I closed it. But anyway, we got this file. Now I'll go to bin. And scroll down to you see gmad.exe. Right there. Now don't open it. And what we're going to do is we're drag it right there. Minimize Steam. And we're going to click and drag our big city or map file or whatever it is you're looking for to the gmad. Like um, dragging and dropping into a zip file or something. So drag and drop. There you go. And it does its magic. And then we'll scroll back to the top. And GM Big Cities right there. Maps. And there's our BSP file for our map. And it's super easy. Um, if you have any problems with this tutorial, um, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, also leave a comment in the comment section below. If, um, you know, if you like this video and you felt it was very easy, very simple, please give me a thumbs up. It would very it, it would help out a lot um i have a patreon page if you want to you know help me out there i'll have a link in the description for that um if you want me to keep the videos keep them simple you know i'll do this as long as i can for free but you know it you know whatever if you really like this video and you like my channel just in general you can always hit that subscription button and you can also hit the dislike button i don't encourage that but if you felt like this video was just not that good, please hit that dislike button and please leave a comment in the comment section below as to why you did so. So I know I what to do to make it better next time. With that being said, this has been another Simply Tutorial. I hope that you have been simplified, I guess. I don't know. And I'll see you next time in the next video.